so this is a basically a technical round so in which i am going to ask a couple of coding questions so uh, i have shared one coder pack pad link with you can you please open that and uh, share your screen sure just let me open the link and Can you see yeah. yeah, I can see it now. So I will just paste a question over there. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I've pasted my question. So as you can see, like uh, it's just a simply a linked list, singly linked list in which uh, we have some order of nodes. So what we have to do is we have to delete the nodes which have a greater value on the right hand side. So in this question, hello, like, yeah, hello. Sorry, uh, Raul, I think there was some network issue. Just a second. Okay. My laptop. Just a second. Man. Yeah, yeah. Closing. Uh, can you try now? Yeah, are you able to hear? Yeah. Okay, so in this I have pasted one singly linked list like 12, 15, 10, 11, 5, 6, 2 and 3. So what we have okay. to finally do over here is like if uh, if we are at a particular node and if there is a node of higher value on its right hand side, so we have to delete okay. that particular node. So like okay. for this, in this example, uh, to the right of 12, 15 is there, right? So we have to remove 12 from this linked list. Uh, okay. Similarly, 15 doesn't have any value greater than 15 in the right hand side of it. Okay. So the element can be present anywhere on its right hand side. It's not, not just that it has to be adjacent one. Okay, it, it should be just compared to the adjacent one only, not the whole uh, no, right no, hand whole, side of it. We the have list. to take the whole linked list to the right hand side. like none of the elements present to the right of a particular node should be greater okay okay understood yeah so we have to finally return this linked list 15 11 6 and 3. okay three then we have it there and six okay understood yeah okay so which language you are going to use uh i think i will like, start a video again c plus or something Okay. So kind of like this kind of function I'm thinking to implement. So node will be the data data structure that that will be there. So head of the linked list you will provide it in the function, and then I can work on and provide uh, and reply uh, like return the modified head okay okay so just let me think six five seven ten i'm kind of thinking first reverse the link list then try to Okay. Traverse it so that basically at every point when I'm traversing, uh, it is like just we know we should know the right hand side largest value of the, for that particular node. Like to take the decision, like whether uh, that node should be there or not. Mm -hmm. So kind of I'm thinking like I can reverse the node, uh, reverse the link, the whole link list, and then start traversing. So when I will be at three. Uh, like the greatest value would be in underscore man kind of yeah then Yeah, so my approach is 
like first step would be reverse the link list okay whatever the link list is given mm -hmm. then we will start from the particular first head node uh, and the uh, then there will be one variable greatest value so basically greatest value is like till this point whatever the greatest value is okay integer value that we have got in the link list so at that particular node when we are at 3 okay so when we reverse the link list this will be 3 2 6 5 11 10 15 12 so what i'm thinking is like at 3 greatest value will be int underscore min like the uh, Int underscore min will be the uh, minimum value till now. Okay. So I will just check the node value is greater than the int underscore uh, like the greatest value till now or not. If it is uh, greater than the, then it will remain there. Okay. Like it will be in the link list. Otherwise, if uh, and then if it is there, then uh, I need to update the greatest value till now also. Because till now, uh, int underscore min was the greatest value till now. So when I will compare it to three, so three is greater than uh, the greatest value till now. So I will make like I will retain that particular node and update the greatest value till now. Okay. Then I will move to and uh, now my greatest value till now variable basically is three. So when I will go to two, I will decide like two is greater than the greatest value till now. No, because it is less than three. So I will uh, delete that node by modifying the links. Okay. And then move on to the uh, six. Then it is again uh, greater. So we will retain it and now greatest value till now is six. Then uh, similarly, we will go on till the end of the link list. Okay. And I will start. Uh, yeah, yeah, please. Okay. Can you define this node first? What node defines? Okay. This will reverse my mode and I will go on to the next one. Now I will go to empty school school. While then there will be one value in equals to and underscore name. 
So now we move to horizon part. Put on now. Not equal to when we compare x with the data. So if m and is equally is greater than greatest. For equal, if it is there, equal no no. Still uh, equal is not allowed. Like if the value okay, is distinct great. distinct element are there. No equal. Equal can be there. For equal, we can keep them in the linked list. But we have to just remove the greater values if it is not there. Okay. So if the linked so if, list has, like at some point uh, in the linked list, ten is there, and on right hand side there is some uh, one ten also is there. The greatest element. Yeah, we need to on keep that ten. Okay, we need to keep it. Okay. Not equal to null, then basically we have undefined on you till now. And you have to mix this one. You can say that. Your height is equals to map. This is for the first element, right? Yeah. So basically, when I'm traversing it, so if uh, this new head is is basically the head of the new modified link list, in which all the elements that uh, are required based on your uh, on the given condition. So what I'm doing is like if it is the greatest, and if new head is not even initialized yet. So basically, it is the first element. So mm -hmm. I am just initializing it with temp, and then temp temp next, and new and next would be null. Okay. Thank you. 
delete and remove and put in now. After this, we will get again we have to reverse. And just reverse. write a function over there which can reverse and use that function. Yeah. Yeah, you can use any in sixty four min. Yeah, I must. Yeah. Okay. If I'm done, I will just quick go through and then you can check. Uh -huh, sure.
I think yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can create one link list and try running it. Okay, sure. Uh, I think this only twelve fifteen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Note star. You need to manually <coughs> create the next pointers for these. Next. Because two, yeah. It is fifteen. Or you can do. You can create a smaller link list if you want. If there are too much elements. Let's just take this only. Okay. Mode star. Just I'm creating it randomly so that next is or not. Eleven. Next is because thirteen. Next. Next is equals to no more. And okay, twelve, fifteen, ten, eleven, five, six, five, six two, three. No, no. Yeah. Okay, now we can just call the function. Okay. Uh, function. And then then while not equal to now. Should I run it? Yeah, yeah, sure.
okay. I think it's working in the wrong way. Yeah, some condition it is uh, succeeding always. RES, you have to increment the RES pointer over here in the while loop. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You can reset it and run again. Fifteen, six, two, three. I think. Yeah, yeah, this is the answer. Yes. Okay, yeah, can we take another example just to cross check? And we have created yes. this linked list. Yeah. Uh, I think let's then do one thing. Just a second. We can create a loop kind of thing to create some mile. Is equals to a not equal to minus one. We will do a and then If then and it is equal to me on not. E equals to okay. It's okay, like now. we can create one simple link list. One other test case, that's it. Yes, well, um, from there we can give that input. Is there any way? You can create one uh, link list. Uh, let me just tell you what link list against which you can test. Okay. So can you create one link list in which all the elements are in the increasing order? Like one, one, five, ten, maybe. One, five, and ten. ten. Yeah. Just run it. Okay. Yeah, 10 is the expected answer over here. Yes. Okay. And if the link list is empty, is it fine, running fine? Can you check that? We can directly give minus 1. Yep. It is printing empty. Okay. Okay. All right. I think yeah, the solution looks fine. What's the complexity of this uh, approach? Uh, this is O of n only. And like is reverse is also O of n and then we will traverse again. That is, that is O of n and then again reverse O of n. So it will be O of n only. Okay. Any extra space you haven't used, right? Yeah. Like the variable spaces, the constant variable spaces I've used. Other than that, no. So it will be constant space complex. Okay. Fine. Yeah, this solution looks good. Let's go to the next problem. Uh, so basically, if you can go down, uh, just keep the main function and uh, remove everything from the main function so that you can. Okay. Can we store this code just? Like, 
can be uh, yeah, you yeah, can don't delete, delete it just keep it as it is after we can do yeah, you can comment it. out this this yes so yeah i will just uh, write one question over here give me a second so uh, basically i am at line number 95 if you are able to see yes i am i am able to see uh, so the question is like we are given a string and okay. uh, we have to find the length of that particular substring which has the largest number of non repeating characters so uh, can you so we have a string yeah yeah i am just writing an example so suppose the string is a b c a b c uh, b b right so we have to find the length of that string which has the largest number of unique characters so if we consider a substring suppose a b c so in this substring a b c all the characters are unique right none of the characters right. is repeating so we have right. to find uh, that particular substring like we have to return the length actually over here which will be 3 in this case which is okay. which is like substring it is like continuous yes substring means okay. continuous only yes yeah okay yeah, so, so we have to return this uh, largest length possible, which doesn't have any repeating characters. Okay, understood. Yeah. Okay. So what I am uh, thinking is like how what we can do is they can uh, we can keep two three variables like one will be sorry. Yeah. So we can what we can do is we can take two three variables mm -hmm. like one is start index. Basically, it will be like uh, we we need to have some window, right? So an index. Okay. So basically, basically uh, I am concerned. What my start index is the starting of my window, and index is the ending of my window. Okay. So what we will do is start index will be initialized by zero. Okay. And at the starting end index is also zero okay and we will consider a array of 26 size okay like uh, if i'm assuming like it, it is based on the assumption that i will be getting a string of small alphabets like mm -hmm. a to z only yeah yeah you can write right? this assumption yes okay so uh, array of 26 size basically uh, what it will store is like what latest index of the string it is there it was there like if you consider uh, this a b c so basically at this point of time if my uh, window is ending here it is a b c so my for a it is zero like latest uh, index at which i faced a so it will be zero 
But if you consider this window, then it will be three for A. So it is like uh, storing the latest index at which I got that character. So it will be like uh, twenty six character array will be there, and I can just check it like at what index I uh, face that character in the string. So um, like I'm not able to explain it well. Yeah. I think with the code I can explain it to you more. Okay, so what we will do is like uh, at any point when we are at uh, this end index will be moving mm -hmm. continuously. So at 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 any point, like at any end end index, I will see what character is there. I will check the value of that character in the array of twenty six. So uh, firstly, I initialize the array of twenty six by minus one because I haven't uh, uh, faced any character till now. Okay, so I will check if like for that character is there is some value in array. If it is minus one, then we don't have a problem. We can extend our substring because we haven't faced that character till now. Okay, and if it is not minus one, it is some uh, some integer. Then I will check that it is in my window or not. Like it is uh, less than start uh, index or not. If it is less than start index, then also it uh, it it it, uh, it, uh, it is not a problem to me because it is outside my window, which the current window I am considering. So uh, if it is not there. If it is uh, less than, then I will uh, just uh, update the array and uh, move again uh, and end index plus plus kind of thing. And if it is inside my window, then I will just uh, cancel my window till then and compute the length of that window and the resultant length I will uh, update it if it is greater than that. So till uh, uh, like it will be kind of a window uh, will be moving kind of considering, and then we will reach. So it it will be kind of a O N solution. To me. Okay. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, can you implement it? So, so what will be the input to the function? It will be. It will be just a string. Now, and the index is this on I am writing in the main function. It's a function, so curly braces has to be there. Okay. Okay. Input dot length is there. So and my function. Okay. 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 
minus 1. Index is less than star index. So basically, I'm going Other than this, we are going to create so, uh, and index and index minus arc index. That's fine. The length, right? Because if I'm at zero, I have a fourth index or minus zero. But at this point of time, I'm saying okay, this character is being repeated. So 0, 1, 2, 3. It will be okay, not plus 1. So my length is here. Length is result. Result is equal to length. Um, um, equals to and index and index and also one thing more Number of indexes. Okay. So let's just flash. Okay, give me one more. There's some more. Okay, sure. Okay, and then I'm. But at some point of my own, can be there again. I use the index. Again, I need to compute the length. Yes, so okay. Okay, I think I'm going to go. Is it going to be minus one? If I'm going to be in black. Okay. Minus one. Okay. 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 Okay.
Oh, it's okay. I don't need to do anything. Sorry to this. But minus one if it is in. Into minus one, and then I think I am done with the code. Uh, what if it is minus one? Like, uh, can you repeat that array index value? It is initialized to minus one, right? So, uh, what condition is going to handle that minus one scenario? It won't go inside this if condition. Yeah, so basically, array of index will be the end of index because that that is the current index that I face for that character. So I will just update it and end index plus one plus plus. Okay. Okay. Try it. Yeah. Okay. Now we will have to go to main function. Just copy the main function. Yeah. Down. Or you can comment the earlier main function and write a new main. Okay. Yes, answer is three. Okay. I will reset it just to make sure the visibility. I will run it again. So can you change this string to some other case? Yeah. Anything you can. Mm, anything. Just try for some of the cases. Okay. One. Okay. A B C A B C D C A D F D. So, yeah, it's working for the problem. Yeah, just a second. Yep. Um, can you write the string B A D? B A D C A C A X C D. B C A X. Yeah, it looks fine. Can you go in the code a bit? Yeah. Uh, one thing is inside the if condition, uh, in line number one one four and one one five as well. So you are updating the result variable over here, and in line number one twenty five as well, you are updating result. So why two types updation has been happening over here? See, like in this loop, if I reach oh, uh, like last window, I'm considering is like when I will reach the end index, mm -hmm. right? Till the end of the string when I will uh, reach, then basically I will be breaking out of the loop. Okay. So if I am at the last index of the string, like last to last, uh, you can say like if our string length is five. Then I will when I my end index is five, so at that point of time end index is five, but it is not less than input dot end, right? Mm -hmm. So it will not enter. So okay. to consider the last window that is there. Okay. Uh, so uh, you can like you can how can I explain you? Okay. For example, for a case A B C D E is there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So start index is zero. Yes. Right. 
end index is also zero. Then we will continue uh, updating it as one. End index is really one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Right. So when uh, end index is at five. Okay. Okay. I didn't update this, right? Because uh, in this it will never go. This if condition till now. Mm -hmm. Then we will reach the end of this because see index is not equal to minus one, right? Yeah. Because at every end index, basically array of index is minus one, so it will not uh, enter at line one one two in the if loop at every time, and end index will be plus plus. Okay. So at when end index is five, then we will break out of this loop. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So at that point of time, we haven't considered any window. Mm -hmm. Understood. Right? Understood. So when our window we are considering reach at the last of the string, then I need to uh, consider that option also. Okay. So for that, I'm checking. Just test for one more case. Uh, just comment this line. A B C D A C E. This position. Mm. A B C D A C E. Yeah. D A C E. Yeah. Can you remove E from the end in this string? Yes. Yeah, looks fine. Yeah. All right then. I guess the solution is fine. Uh, the complexity for this is uh, of like the length of the string. Okay, and oh. you have used uh, constant extra space. Uh, constant extra space of array of size twenty six. That will be constant for any length of the string. So it will be constant space complex. Okay. Okay. All right. I guess yeah, the solution looks uh, good. So I guess yeah, these uh, were the questions. Like uh, we didn't don't have much time for the third question. So yeah, let's wrap it up. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, Gaurav. Thank you so much.